Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Web of Lemon, and today we're back to playing Witcher and Alice. So last time we left off, we uh what broke into an abandoned house. We learned more about Alice, and I think, if I remember correctly, Richard tried to fuck with the temperature control system and he really got upset about it but anyways let's get right back into it um i'm still trying to figure out how to have multiple like load and saves but yeah i'm not gonna walk on the lake it's far too dangerous Okay, so there's nothing up here, but there is something there, or at least it looks like there's something there, which is quite interesting. Um, I will admit, the walking is a bit slow for me. Hmm, look Bonnie, there's a shoe on the ground. Can I wear it? Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea, sweetheart. It's too big for you. Plus, someone might be looking for it. Aww. Besides, it's frozen solid. Come on, let's just leave it where it is. Um, shotgun shells, toy car, gun. A grave. No, this isn't the right grave. Fuck, there's multiple graves? See... This would be nice to have a wider screen for, um, but I'm in like a tiny window screen, unfortunately. Um, a flat football. I wonder if someone put it there for a friend or family member. Can we play with it? Um, it's flat, sweetheart. Besides, it might have been left here in someone's memory. Let's leave it all alone. I understand Bonnie doesn't get or like understand the whole death thing it seems. No, I'll leave it where it is. No, this isn't the right grave. Did we? Okay, I'm curious. Did we miss something um, below? I will also say, when you have Bonnie following, I kind of wish he was a little slower. Um, that way he doesn't like stop and go. Oh, flowers. Hmm, they're so pretty. I feel bad picking them. Then again, I don't have anything to take at all. There are a few growing. They do brighten up the place though. Oh well. Oh, what's that? S satchel? Hmm, I think there might be something in it. Let's have a look. Someone's diary. Hmm, I don't want to put it there. Come on, Bonnie. Come here. Can you read this, Bonnie? It says... Warning. Warning. Good. What about this one? Polar. Well done. Polar. And this one? I know this one. It says bear. Well done, sweetheart. Bear. Now, how about this last one? T t tell... I don't know that one. It says territory. Do you know what that means? Of course I do. What does it mean? Um... Isn't it, if I remember correctly, an area that is owned by someone, something, or an animal, or something like that? It means someone's place or area they live in or own. I, yeah, I'm not that far off. 
Uh, little polar bears here? Uh, well, not little polar bears. It's a name of a gang. A gang? Are they scary? Will they make us dead? The fuck am I supposed to tell a kid that? What the fuck? Um... Uh, oh, you don't will yourself with that sort of thing. Just enjoy being out in the snow. You keep saying you want to come out and play in it. I suppose so. Why don't we go have an explore anyways? Okay, mommy. You know what? I think that's a good idea. Avoid the topic and don't worry about it. Don't want to sit down right now. Could at least say something about the bench or the um football posts, soccer posts, whatever you want to call it. Um I don't think there's anything else down here, but I'm actually glad I looked. Not the right grave. Oh yeah, the diary. I suppose it's okay to eat it. Oh god, Lucy and I uh, went foraging for food today. There's still some land that isn't uh, caked with snow and ice. Can you believe that? We found some berries, weren't sure whether or not to eat them, but said it, uh, but sat, but sought it, we were hungry. We're still here, so that can only be a good sign, especially for Lucy. It's been a couple of months now since her parents died, and she's, uh, dealing with it scarily when I'm not sure how she does it, especially with everything else she has to put up with. These days we all keep the doors and windows blocked up, as well as locked, just to make sure I think it comforts her. Um, okay wait, the first one was the 12th, the next one's three days. There was a brief, brief respite in the snow yesterday. It took me completely by surprise. I woke up, looked at the window, and there was nothing falling. As minutes ticked on, I foolishly let myself believe it might finally be over, that we might be able to rebuild and move on with our lives. But no. An hour or so later, it began again, heavier than I've seen it in some time. Lucy slept through the whole thing, and I didn't have the heart to tell her about it when she woke up. The 26, so that's what, 5 plus 6, that's 11 days? Um, this week has been difficult. We're trying not to burn through our supply of tin food, but we're getting hungrier every day. So it's difficult to keep up the willpower, especially uh, occasionally we go out and try to find some extra food and something, and sometimes we do, but it's so cold that something was scribbled out. All we want to do is return to the indoors to feel comfortable again. Doesn't help how picky we have to be either. Lucy remains incredibly strong though. It's quite remarkable. She truly is an inspiration. She gets on with life as if it were the most normal existence ever. I guess things were never really normal for her. 12th of April? God, um, that's actually a while, isn't it? I haven't, I haven't been writing much recently. I haven't found the strength. Poor Lucy has been looking after me when I had my darker moments, and I feel sorry for her. It's not as if she doesn't have her own shit to deal with. We're trying to properly ration now. It's been too long since the antibiotics got uh, the last food shipment. Wait, authorities got the last food shipment to people. Weeks. We talk about going to the new zone, but it's a fair distance and we need our strength. 
Could we even get in? Lucy says we can, thanks to her, but I'm not sure. I keep wondering if this will ever end. The 16th of April. Ah, uh, that was scary. We had a surprise visit last night from who we assumed was a small group of polar bears. Um, they didn't say so outright, but since they uh, threw a rock through one of the windows and tried to smash up our barricades with a baseball bat, it's probably a safe assumption. We hid in Lucy's bedroom. They didn't come in, but they shouted at us from outside. They said they'd be back, uh, that we're being selfish. Why? What right do they have to threaten us? I'm angry and scared. The 22nd of April. I went out to find more food on my way, uh, on my own today. Lucy said she wasn't feeling too well. Well, I was out, we could have sworn we heard her scream. It might have been someone else, of course, but I got this feeling that it was her. When I got back, I asked her about it, but she said she looked confused and said she had no idea. She said she's feeling a bit better, though, so that's a relief. At least the medicine supplies are still going strong. Okay, I will say I do wish the bottom of the text wasn't as faded out as it was, or the text blocks appeared on its own, so every day was its own thing. Even if it was short, it'd be better than the fade out. Um, 23rd April. I can't believe it. I just can't. The fuck is that supposed to be? Uh, 24th. I'm still in shock. Woke up yesterday. Went downstairs. Uh, sat around for a while. Decided I should make wake Lucia. So, went to a room. Knocked. No answer. But the door was slightly ajar. I went in and she was gone. Left me a note, said she's heading to the zone without me. I'm holding her back. I don't believe it. If we talked about this so much, then I even encouraged her to go. Why leave like this? Increasingly sure this wasn't Lucy's doing. She wouldn't have. She has no reason to vanish. It's uh, been set up, I'm sure. It's the polar bears or whoever else it was that day uh, that came by. They had it all planned. I'm positive Lucy's found valuable to them, which means she'll still be alive. 2nd of May. That's it. I'm going to face them head on. I'll try to reason with them, but I'll go armed. I had never met Lucy three months ago. Uh, I never met Lucy three months ago. But she became my everything. Uh, they can't get away with taking her from me. And that's it. Hmm. Nothing else in the bag. So it's as good assumption I would assume she's dead. Here we go. Shall we put flowers down, Bonnie? Okay, Mommy. Go on, then. There we go. Don't they look pretty? Yeah. Does Daddy like flowers? I should think so, sweetheart. Who doesn't? Sometimes they're smelly. <laughs> they smell nice, though, usually. Mummy? Yes, sweetheart? Why does Daddy live in the ground? <sighs> well, sweetie, Daddy, he... He passed away a couple of years ago now. You're probably too young to remember. Passed away? He died, sweetheart. Why did he want to die? Oh, he didn't want to die. Not as far as I know, anyways. He didn't choose to. I sort of remember. He went away. Yeah, he did. He said he'd gone to live with his friends. Well, that is sort of true. Did you see all the other graves? Graves? The little mounds with crosses and bits of wood next to them. Is that other daddies? 
Well, yes, some of them were. There were people that we lived with at the time. Your dad and I, we had to leave our house when the weather got really bad. We moved in with some of some other nice families and couples in a really big shelter that had been set up for people without homes. Some of the men who were there, they were daddy, they're the men daddy's with now. Why? What happened? Oh, Bonnie, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to talk about this? Yeah, why not? Does it not make you sad? No. Why, mommy? Does it make you sad? Well, sometimes, sweetheart. Yeah, it does. I miss your dad really much. But daddy didn't like it when you got sad, remember? I do remember, sweetheart, yes. Then, you used, when you used to get sad, he said it made him sad. I know. So don't be sad. What happened to daddy? Well, him and our friends got into a bit of argument one time. It was over food. See, this was near the start of the snow, when people were still used to having enough food. Suddenly, when there wasn't as much to go around, people had to share more. But some people didn't like that. They wanted all the food to themselves. Yeah, but what happened? Okay, sweetheart, I'm getting to that. Your dad and the others, they went to meet with some men who had stolen some of our food. We were hungry and wanted to get it back. We could, we could still have brought more food at that stage, but, well, money was tight. We didn't have jobs anymore. And, well, your dad and the others, the men... <sighs> oh, sweetheart, this is difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. No, sweetheart, it isn't your fault. You have a right to know. You're a big boy now. Did they get into a fight? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. A big fight. Did the men have guns? Yeah, they did. Guns make people go dead. Yeah. And that's what happened to daddy? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I just wanted to wait until you were old enough to understand. Do you think he can hear us? Who? Daddy? Yeah. I don't know, sweetheart. I really don't. Some people talk to the people they miss. I think listening from afar. Do you believe that? I don't know. I think he's listening. Yeah? Yeah, can we talk to him? Sure, sweetheart. What do you want to say? Um... It's... Daddy, it's me, Bonnie. Is that right, Mommy? Sure, go on. Hi, Daddy. I miss you a lot, and I wish you were here. Because then you could be on an adventure with us. Mommy misses you lots, too. I love you lots and lots and lots. And I'm a big boy now, and strong like a lion. And like you. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Was that okay, Mommy? That was perfect, sweetheart. Your turn. Oh, Bonnie, I don't know what to say. Say whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Mark. It's me, Alice. I guess... I guess I just want to say I do miss you. Every day. And I'm sorry it had to be the way it was. I'm taking care of Bonnie. He's growing up so fast. Anyways, I love you. And I always will. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but... Well, I hope you can. Okay. Are you okay, Mommy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Shall we go now? Yeah, let's go back.
Bye bye, Daddy. Six days since Alice's arrival. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie, that was... That was hard to read. Holy fuck. Ugh, ugh, yeah. Richard? Yes? How many times have you tried to reach that point now? Honestly, I've lost count. Have you ever even came close to getting it? What else do you expect me to do, Alice? I... I don't know. I submitted a support ticket like you asked. No reply. I don't think they're listening. Ah, no, neither do I. I'm really, really fucking hungry. Yeah. And cold. Yeah. They'll come eventually, won't they? This is probably some kind of new age punishment, right? They saw us messing with the thermostat, so they thought, hey, let's fuck with them a little. Let them stew for a bit. Maybe. Well, okay guys, if you're listening, I'm out of pills. I'm starving. I'm freezing. And we still don't have any hot water. Enough's enough, yeah? Now we wait. Huh, yeah. Maybe I'll try to send another support ticket. Haha, <laughs> don't you dare. Now, Alice, don't underestimate the power of this support ticket. They're giving... They've gotten me out of many life or death jams. The time when the TV broke, the time they sent me cream corn despite me being allergic, the time the toilet clogged. Wait, you're allergic to cream corn? What if that would you be allergic to? What is in cream corn? I kind of like cream corn. It's really fucking good. He's not allergic to corn though, is he? Or is it something else? Fuck, that's weird. See, when you have weird allergies like that, it always piques, piques my interest and it's like, but why? Like, I know someone who's allergic to mint and their whole family has weird ass allergies and it's like super fascinating. I love it. It sucks for them. And I feel bad because they have to really watch some of the stuff uh, they consume. Because you'd be, like, even with mint, you'd be surprised what foods have mint in it. And it's, like, a lot more than you ever expected. But anyways, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> but seriously. Uh, when we do eventually get out of here, do you think the snow will have melted? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I'd like to think so, but I don't know how long your sentence is. Mine's, mine's long enough. If the snow hasn't stop, stopped, by the time I get out, there won't be a world to go back to. Well, that's a sobering, sobering thought. Still, at least we've both got people on the outside waiting for us, right? Can we talk a can we not talk about this? Every time I think about being stuck here on the ground for years, I just feel like I'm tumbling down a black hole. Sure, I know what you mean. There isn't a day that goes by when I am not filled with dread over the prospect of not seeing my daughter again. Huh, look at us. A white sorry pair. We're so different, really, and yet so similar, I know. It's weird. We ended up down here together, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, nothing really. Just thinking. Man, it sure is boring when you're cold. I was wondering, actually, about you. Yeah? Before all this, what did you do for fun? Like, when you were off fighting wars and things? Well... Wait, wait, no. Let me guess. You were... <laughs> okay. I don't like hiking, but this sounds like a jab at that kind of thing. You were into hiking, right? Mountain biking too, maybe? Camping? The great outdoors? I bet you can tie every kind of knot and light a fire using sticks. I bet you were in the scouts as a kid. 
You spend your weekends in the mountains, maybe fishing too. I can picture you with one of those hats on. Did you ever wrestle a bear, Richard? Come on. I was a model railway enthusiast. Really? That's actually kind of cool. You should actually see some of those setups. They are so intricate. It's actually kind of amazing the kind of things they can do. No, you weren't. Is it so hard to believe? Yes. Well, believe it. A moral railway enthusiast. Well, that's cool, I guess. So, like, did you have a big setup? Did you convert your shed into a huge track? Like some of those guys do? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Okay, okay, you're right. Hiking, fishing, mountain biking. I've never got a pair, though. Just a, just a couple of angry raccoons. Oh, man. I liked you better when you went to trains. Oh, sorry. I had a train set as a kid, if that counts. No. I actually, now thinking about it, I seen a setup. It was, if I remember correctly, three layers. And the train, there was a couple of trains, and they moved from like one layer to the next. Um, it was actually really intricate. I really wish I could see it again. It was something that I found quite fascinating. I don't remember what the um, one layer was, but I remember one layer was like a mining layer that the train ran through, and it was more like a um, like a smaller type train that hauled like these coal carts. And there was another layer with like um, a town in it, and the train went throughout it. I don't remember what the other layer is. I want to say it was one that went to the town up to like a mountain area, but I really don't remember. It was a really cool setup. It honestly really was. Have you got enough blankets and stuff in there until they fix the temperature? If they fix the temperature? Well, if they don't, the answer is definitely no. Exactly. So, what do we do in that case? They will fix it, don't worry. Don't you watch the infomercial commercials? This is the safest place on earth. They're not gonna let us freeze to death. But what if? We can't afford to think like that. Hmm, maybe you should support another. Submit another support ticket. Maybe I should. Alright, let's try to fix this. Do we have. Waiting for a clean bucket might be tricky. There's a hole in it. I've had enough. Can't reach it. Broken pole. Why don't you use, like, something else to, like, pull it closer? Like, she has another mop, doesn't she? A uh, flat screen and the pipe through thread of old reruns. Typhoon project. May your stay be comfortable, pleasant one. Ugh, had enough of this. UGPT appreciates your cooperation and welcomes you with a participant of the Typhoon Project. May you be comfortable and pleasant one. The UGPT appreciates cooperation and welcomes you as every channel? Really? Okay, that is a bit weird. Don't need anything with the photo right now. We'll feel like reading. Let's find out what it is. Remember, always flush. Don't eat anything in the cabinet. Already had a shower. I just like fucking with things, to be honest. Let's have a look. Okay, let's hang on. The Typhoon ticket system is currently down for routine maintenance. In the event of an emergency, Please activate your in-cell emergency device as detailed in section 64C of the Typhoon Project Handbook. A guard shall attend to you shortly. Please note abuse of the emergency device may result in a loss of prisoner privileges. Wait, what? In-cell emergency device? Typhoon Project Handbook? First, I've heard of any of this. That'll do. 
the broken pole. There's no use. It's not long enough to reach the other bits of the pole. What? Um, I had far worse when I was younger. Let's talk to Alice. Yes? Um, Alice, when they brought you in here, did they mention anything about an, an in-cell emergency device? Um, no, not to my knowledge. It was, I was pretty out of it, mind. It's kind of important. Try to remember. Wait, why do I have to remember? Why can't you remember? Well, they never mentioned it to me. Honestly, I'm not sure they ever told me about it. Hmm, seems like a bit of an oversight, don't you think? Well, trying to remember back. Did they actually tell you anything about this place? Well, yeah, I mean... Well, this the info commercial. Ah, yes. The vacuous thing. What do you do if something goes wrong? What do you do if there's a fire? Well, I imagine there are fire alarms. Plus, you could submit a support ticket. In a fire, Richard? Really? Okay. So what if the computer broke down? Then what? Tell a god. And if there's no gods? There are always gods. Apart from now. Apart from now. Something's going on. Do you ever get the feeling they're making this up as they go along? Well, the info commercial did say this is a test. Fuck the info commercial. It's insidious. PR spiel. An Amen, odious, odious. I don't know. Empty reassurance that everything is safe. We're not safe here, Richard. Sure, if nothing goes wrong, if absolutely no problems crop up in a vault under the ground, then yeah, maybe it's fine. But we're expendable. If either of us dies, they know what to adjust to suit the paying customers later down the line. We are subhuman scum. Murderers and deserters were going to freeze to death beneath the earth just so that eventually, one day, rich fox can live free of the snow and the looting and the killing. That's all we are, Richard. That's all we are. That's qu a quite a bleak outlook. I'm being realistic and you know it. Fuck! Have you got the Typhoon Handbook in there? I've never seen anything of the sort. You know what? I actually do. It's all the reading material they gave me. Can you pass it over to me? Just tie some blankets together like I did. Really, Richard? I'm not capable of just reading it out to you. No, no, that's not what I mean. I just... I know what I'm looking for and... So, tell me. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. It's fine. Let me go get it. Got it. Okay, Christ, look at this thing. Talk about blowing your own trumpet. Hey, listen to this. Since the company was established in 1927, UGPT has been the leading market force in meteorological disaster management solutions. Jesus, fuck, that's a mouthful. Just say MDMS. Holy fuck. Eventually, uh, branching out into custom safety shelters and various subterranean physics research. Okay. In the 1950s, our technologies were embraced by many companies to aid in the creation of durable, withstanding bomb shelters. What a thing to have on your resume. So, what do you want me to look up? Oh heavens, what was it again? 34C. That's stupidly specific. I want to look up it all. Uh, can you find section 31? Uh, section 31, section 31. Here we go, section 31. Luxury items. All, all uh, detainment suits, I think they mean sounds, have been outfitted with the latest high definition broadcast technology. I think you mean televisions. 
Your monitor is a window to the outside world, allowing you to remain in touch with what you left behind. Regularly scheduled programming consists of a vast array of educational and informational shows. Learn about the wider world of with our nature, history, and geographic shows. We kindle your inner child with Saturday morning cartoons, which are fucking great no matter what anyone says. Well, at least they were when I was a kid. Fuck, they were great. Oh, I remember getting up early to watch them every day. I remember exactly the channel I used to go to. I remember exactly what would be on, at what times. God, I miss that. Every day of the week, I learn more about the Typhoon Project itself. Level 5 participants may be granted access to on-demand movies and a limited number of live sports. Live sports, really? Well, I hope those level 5s like ice hockey. <laughs> okay, that was a good joke. Anyways, is this really what you were after? No, it isn't. I didn't think so. Section 79F subclass subclass B. I can try one sec. Okay, the section seems to be about computer login stick. In the event the partic participants ingest the login stick, a replacement will not be provided by UGPT security employee. And, oh sorry, and a UGPT security employee will assist you uh, should you wish to see the electronic facilities. Has this ever happened to you, Richard? <laughs> I have it right here, don't I? Well, you never know. They may have given you a second chance. I can honestly reassure you I've, <laughs> I've never swallowed my login stick. That's very good to know, thank you. Can you look up section 64C? <laughs> I'm sorry. The fact that they have a specific section on swallowing the USB stick is kind of funny. Ah, uh, one moment. Alright, this seems to be about the emergency device. That's it, that's what we need. In case of emergency, please follow standard support ticket procedure. You're joking. However, should this course of action be unavoidable or unavail unavailable, each suit has been fitted with an emergency device which, when triggered, will alert the guard post. Note, misuse of your in-cell emergency device may result in loss of privileges. Yeah, yeah, where is it? Hold on, I'm getting to that. I'm sure you're so relaxed about this. Oh, I'm glad. Well, it's all right now, isn't it? Uh, once we set off the emergency, what's it? We'll be fine. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, it says emergency device located uh, behind the wheel panel of your personal variety vanity unit. Right, I think I get it. Yep. It also says, in case of fire, the emergency device will be rendered inaccessible. Well, that's useful. Wait, what? Why? Thankfully, we're not on fire just yet. Thankfully? Hey, maybe we should both trigger the emergency things, you know, to stress how much of an emergency it is. Good plan. That's weird. Why would it be unavailable in a fire? Let's try prying this open. Gah. No, can't get a good enough grip. Do we? No. <sighs> Wait, we're gonna use the plate? Hmm, it's only a safety knife. But it might come in handy. Oh, it will. Oh, it might be a safety knife, but it might just work. Gah! Hell yeah. It worked. It's open. Hey, Alice. There's a button here. 
Do you want to go and check yours? Sure. Yep, there's a button for me too. Are you... Okay, are you ready? Ready as ever. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's kind of cool. You can see the button too. Are you there, Richard? Yeah. So, I expected a bit more fanfare. Me too, to be honest. Still, it beeped. That means it worked, right? Guess we need to hang on. Hang fire. Need to hang fire until the god comes down. You mean hang tight? Well, since we're looking away to pass time, yeah, yeah. But I might get cut off. I doubt we'll have to wait long. Well, I mean, cool. Barney was, he wasn't doing so good. Is it snowy out? It always snowy out, isn't it? I mean, is it falling from the sky? I'm not sure. Probably. Do you want to go for a walk? To see Daddy again? No, not today, sweetheart. Just for a walk. Mm, my head is achy and my nose is funny. Mm, you just have a cold, baby. You'll be fine. Maybe you should stay in today. Will you tell me stories? Maybe later, sweetheart. Mommy's got some things to do today. Like what? I'm going to find a way upstairs. We put her off for far too long. Hmm. Why don't you go back to bed for a bit? Okay, mommy. At you. At you. I don't like how Bonnie's at the bottom of the stairs. I kind of wish that they were in one of the other rooms. For two reasons. One, if someone breaks in, he's right there. And second, if something from the stairs falls, he's right there. Um, not only that, but if the door somehow gets left open a bit, or isn't closed properly and it flings open, at least if he's in another room with the door closed, it will stay warmer longer. Huh. It's not just a cult, is it? Fucking hell, Alice, think. The old man had medicine. Perhaps if I... No. No, I can't go back there. Not ever. There, there's gotta be someone, something to help. Christ. Maybe I really should check upstairs. There's that loose board on the window. I just need to find a way of getting up there. That one? Yeah, I would assume it's that one. Um, but if my notes are correct, with how much we actually have, um, coming up in the next part, if we tackle it there instead of now, we will have every ending. Oh, now it actually... Did I actually de delete my save? Save... I'm gonna call it save one. Or save point one. Um, because if my notes are correct, and they usually are, um, I need to come back to this point anyways. Um, seems like we might need about four save points in total. So, yeah, we'll go from here. So we'll save it. Um, and then, yeah. So that 
is part three, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say part three. I'm I'm like 70, 80 percent confident on that. You think I really should keep track more of uh, how m how much of a game I played? But I really don't. I really, really don't. Um. Okay, so assuming going by my notes, in the next one, I will basically what I'll do is do each ending, and there's five of them, step by step, and then as we um, do the endings, I will explain uh, what you have to do for each ending. Um, but you'll also see on camera what we have to do. Um, I will also show, uh, according to my notes, where we have to save. Um, yeah, so it should be easy enough, in theory, but I'm just hoping it works as well as I hope it does, because um, I've read some reviews saying that it's a little complicated how the endings work, and no one is 100% sure what triggers what is needed, but I'm hoping with my notes and my research, I can get the endings without much hassle. Um, but so far, I've actually quite enjoyed the game. I think my biggest gripe with the game at the moment is mostly just the fact that the window size doesn't match um, my background. Or like my screen area, whatever you want to call it. Um, that and I think it would benefit a little bit from the items you pick up when they go into your inventory being a little bit larger. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say that. So just the window size and your uh, the items you have in your inventory being larger, that would be nice to me, I would say. Um, and then other than that, it is a pixelated game, which I don't mind, but when you see the intro screen like this, you kind of do go into it expecting a little higher fidelity, I guess. Um, I don't, ah, I don't know. Um, I think it looks great and sounds great and it, everything uh, puzzle-wise is great. It actually is pretty logical. It, I haven't, at least to my memory, had anything which was frustrating. Everything followed pretty logically from point A to point B. Like, you get the key and the gun, and then uh, you try the key on the lock first, but that doesn't work, so you try the gun. But you get a little cutscene telling Bonnie to move out of the way. That makes sense. Yeah, you know what? This is one of the few games that I haven't had puzzle game syndrome, which is actually pretty amazing to me. Um, yeah, it's actually just a really fun game. But I will say the, um, a little bit more work on the walking animations would have been nice. But, I don't know, I'm not gonna complain too much. It looks great, sounds great, and overall, I, so far, would give it a pretty good rating. I think pretty highly of it. But... Anyways, uh, I'll leave the rest for next time, where we cover the endings and go from there. So, thank you for tuning into The Frequency. This is The Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>